Plastic Cactus here, coming at you with game 14 out of 15 in the Guelph House series. And this one should be a good one because Riku of Two Reflections is a great commander. And uh, he's being played, or they are being played by Mixer133. Don't need a mulligan. Uh, Supreme Verdict ought to be pretty darn swell against Riku of uh, Two Reflections and the many creatures he doth produce. Fact or Fiction, another decent card to fill my hand with all sorts of delicious goodies. But it does look like the first two turns are spent twiddling my thumb. Could be worse. Could be having to play a disgusting Rutger Spire. And not even correctly. Ouch. So... Well, I'm proud of him for not uh, conceding. I might have conceded out of em embarrassment there. That was terrible. Uh, no matter. Guava Hazid, Profiteer, Riku of Two Reflections is generally such a good deck they can afford to destroy their own ruptured spire and laugh about it later at the local tavern. Riku of Two Beers. <laughs> that was terrible. That wasn't even a joke. I'm disgusted with myself. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, so he has to discard something else because of the dirty Is It Boiler Works. It is Hunting Pack. Not a great creature. I'm a little confused. Perhaps he's just starting out. I can see no other... Or maybe he's a combo deck. He could be a combo deck. Hunting Pack, I guess, is fine if you're getting a million out of it. Or maybe he's just trying to do something interesting. In which case, I applaud you, Riku of Two for Reflections. I would rather have interesting shit that's terrible than the same old, same old bullshit that comes over and over again every other time I do a Commander game. I am looking at you, Maelstrom Wanderer. I am looking at you. So, at the end of his turn, I will factor fiction, or probably just right now while I'm thinking about it, because I have a way of talking so much that I forget my strategy. So fact or fiction shall be played now. And what do we want from here? Well, Enlightened Tutor can get me just about anything, so I suppose that. But honestly, if he puts everything in one pile and Enlightened Tutor in the other, I'll take the everything pile, I think. No, because then I'd have to discard some stuff? Yeah. Uh, I will need one more mana but that could come at any time. So we'll take these two things. And Guava Hazid, Profiteer. You did a good job hitting him for two damage. I'm proud of you. Better men than you have fallen to the awful might of Electrolyze. I enjoy it very much. One of the original Is It Awesome cards. Okay, uh, yeah, you're dead. Commander zone with you. Have fun, Guava. I'll see you again in a couple turns, probably. So, if mana does become a problem, I can always enlighten Tudor for the Soul Ring. I have done worse things. I can get a Soul Ring and a Gilded Lotus out on the same turn and just not worry about mana. Indeed, I believe that is what I will do. There you go, Soul Ring. So yeah, that seems good. And I can leave... Path to Exile up, and with the Golden Lotus up, I can Supreme Verdict if I needed to as well, as long as I tap my mana correctly. And it doesn't look like Supreme Verdict is going to be needed. So this... And... Gilded Lotus. 
And that's it. That is it. What do you got for me, Riku? You can come out now, can't you? I am not going to fuck around. Will I fuck around? I think I'll fuck around. I don't really need to use Path of Exile right yet. I've got two board wipes, three technically, with a Sunblast Angel, although with Source the Plowshares, I think I could afford to fuck around a little. If I just had Path to Exile, I think I would have saved it. But with both, eh, make them replay it. And we will get out a blinding angel, I believe. Get out. That seems like the right thing to do. Sorry, Riku. No shenanigans for you. Not quite yet, anyway. Buddy boy here has got all the cards in the world in his hand, so chances are he has some stupid combo or something with Riku that'll make all the tears in the world. Oh. Oh. Not evoked. So. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. Especially since Blinding Angel makes that guy irrelevant. And I've got the Maze of Ith to back it up. What do I do now? I guess it's just time to get Guafa out again. Yeah, I don't see why not. Have Path to Exile up if the need arises, but I don't foresee it being needed. Just don't think so. So this is leaves the battlefield and not dies. So even it, it, Terminus would still make it happen. But since it goes to only a uh, creature, then all my creatures would be gone too if I Terminus. So that doesn't really matter at all. This is a hideous beast, right? This was during Wizard of the Coast, uh, Wizards of the Coast phase where they wanted to make all of their elementals look like actual terrible turds that have come out of some other more horrific monsters asshole that's what this looks like to me no nope. bow of flight what do you do oh well okay if i really wanted to i can get rid of that with oblivion ring but i don't know if that's necessary quite yet I tend to think it is not. Oh, Phyrexian Ingester? Do I just do the Phyrexian Ingester? I don't... No, he'll kill me. If I Phyrexian Ingester this, then... It dies. So there'd be no point. It'd be pay 7 mana, get rid of Spike Bellows. So who cares? Um... Do I want to Volition Reigns, the Spite Bellows? That seems like such a waste. No. I think I'll just Oblivion Ring, the Vow of Flight. I've got so much goddamn removal, I can use Oblivion Ring on the Vow of Flight. Then the Blinding Angel will be able to attack a bunch and uh, keep making Spite Bellows uh, not necessary. I know I have Guafa to put a bribery counter on the Spite Bellows. But that also gives him a card. And I feel like I don't want to do that yet at this point. Let's get him down to like two or three cards before I start uh, filling his hand up like crazy in a Riku of Two Reflections deck. Don't get me wrong, something happens to my Blinding Angel. I will be Guafa Hazeeding the Spite Bellows like nobody's business. But until then... Yeah, he's just gonna stand here looking smug like he always does. <laughs> you wily bastard. <laughs> Guafa. Everyone has a prize. You said it, buddy. So, we got the Simic Growth Chamber tapped. We got a couple of mountains going down. What is happening? Oh, prophetic bolts. 
curses foiled again. Well, I said I'd guafa, and I'm gonna guafa. Yep. Spike Bellows, you are going to be bribed so goddamn hard. Like, what is that? Like a spider web or fog coming out of its uh, belly button? Ugh, it's so gross. Dude. It's terrible. An artifact or an enchantment, huh? Well, I'll be sacrificing Oblivion Ring. Uh, okay. That's totes fine. Not an issue. Hey, Coalition Relic. You're a cool dude, right? Sure are. Now I can get my two damage per turn in as well. Better than just maze of ithing the spite bellows, in my humble opinion. I'd like him to play something really cool that I can volition reigns. Uh, I'm more than willing to take Riku of two reflections. Even though his abilities are pretty irrelevant for me. No, I guess I can make it work with Gilded Lotus and Coalition Relic. I'll just have to do some thinking. And you all know how much I hate that. Nuklevi. Okay. So he gets Prophetic Bolt and Electrolyze back. Oh, no. He just gets Prophetic Prophetic Bolt or Electrolyze. It's an instant and sorcery. And he chooses Electrolyze. But he tapped wrong, so he can't Electrolyze me right now. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll Phyrexian in Oh, no, I won't. Esperia. I'm well aware I did not Coalition Reign that turn, but that's fine. Oh, that's right. Uh, basic rule, I forgot. So I definitely couldn't do Riku of Two Reflections because all mana uh, that I can produce, right, is can only be, yeah, can only be... Uh, blue and white. One of the most basic rules of the commander, but it rarely can't, comes up for me. Alright, so, we will get out. I have to do it this way, so I don't waste this, but we'll get out of Spiria. Got Sunblast Angel offhand, as well as two other uh, board wipes, should I need to, but in the meantime, Spiria is pretty awesome. And he cannot be electrolyzed. And I think that's it. I don't think I need to do anything else. I certainly don't need to steal Nuklevi, that stupid asshole. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, let's chill. If I really want to, I could put a counter on Nuklevi, but I don't think I will. I'm okay with Maze of Ithing right now, and I kind of want him to attack right now, so I get the, uh, the card. So therefore, he will not attack. Indeed, you do get those. Enjoy your trees! Tribute to the wild. So what he's going to probably do is electrolyze Guafa so he can attack with the Spite Bellows, which I'll Maze of If, and I guess I'll let Nuklevi hit me in the face. That sounds okay to this reporter. Mm. 
What do you got for me, Mixer133? What do you got for me? I could take it. Send it my way. It's not a problem. Just stalling for time here if you didn't figure it out. Uh, I'll pause it. You don't need to hear the ramblings of a madman. Well, uh, it appears that Mixer133 has fled. I mean, it's possible, sure, that he lost connection and, uh, you know, a telephone pole fell down or something and destroyed his internet. I don't know how. But that's actually, that doesn't happen anymore, right? <laughs> the telephone pole. I'm living in 1996. Anyway, uh, it's possible that there are actual technical reasons, but I always doubt it when a magic player. Um, just when a magic player suddenly loses connection in the middle of a game that they're not handedly winning, I feel like it's always highly suspect. So, I'm gonna say this is a win, but it's a really lame win. A really stupid poo nanny win. I had a million things I could do to take care of anything he threw at me. Uh, Path to Exile, Volition Reigns, and Phyrexian Ingester can all take care of one creature. And then I've got three board wipes as well, including a conditional board wipe, on Blast Angel, which is super awesome. So I think I was in a really good shape, and chances are I would have won legit, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, counting it as a win, but I'm not really happy about it. So game 15, the final game of Guava House, if it's not up to snuff, I'll do one extra one. Just because Mixer 133 is a dirty poo coward. Sounds like a good deal to me. See you soon enough.